A reading from John chapter 20, getting at verse 11. These words are found there. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crumb, and as she wept, she bent over and looked into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you fine? They have taken away my Lord, she, asked, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not recognize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. And Jesus said to her, Mira, she turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. And Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, my God, and to your God. And Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. When I was a child, I used to love to play the game hide and go seek. You know, hide and go seek, you go and you hide. And Someone is trying to find you, but the best times of hide and go seek was almost when you were so hidden, no one could find you. Then you almost had to pop out and tell everybody, I'm here, I'm here, can't you find me? That's so similar to what's happening in this text. It's been a difficult weekend. On Friday, they saw Jesus uh, humiliated and executed in a political execution. Saturday, the silence was deafening. And then it comes to early Sunday morning. Women gather their spices for an involvement type process that they just didn't have enough time for on Friday. Making their way to the tomb, they wonder who's gonna roll the stone away only to arrive there and the stone is already in, it's already gone. And you know, they find the empty tomb and they see the strips and the disciples come running. And, and then in this particular scene, it's, it's almost a postscript, if you will. All of the activity around the tomb has come to an end, and Mary's just sitting baffled. Is it real? Is it true? Did I see what I thought I saw? I don't know. And Jesus is there, but she can't see it. He's found right there in her presence, but she can't see it. You know, that's how much of the church is these, day, these days. Jesus is found right there, sitting by people who maybe we don't believe have a place at the table, the right to be as close to the devoured. Pastor, why would you say that? This was Mary, but the truth of the matter is that in that day and age, women were not allowed to talk with men in public. There's no reason why Mary should have been the one sitting there. It should have been a man. It should have been a leader. It should have been someone of wealth and prominence. But it's a walk. A woman with a storied past that's questionable by many. A woman who followed him around, maybe perceived as a little crazy. Maybe even a woman a little obsessed. She got up early that morning with the other women, but I want you to hear, even hooked, she counts. And then the text goes on to say that, that Jesus speaks to her again, and finally she recognizes that it's Jesus, that he's talking to her. How many people need to hear the words of Jesus that yes, he is talking to you, yes, he is including you, Yes, he is engaging you. Maybe you have isolated yourself after the dust has settled or whatever your past religious experience is. But I came to tell you that even 
you are to be included. And when when she finally recognizes that it's him, look at the word she used. She says, Rabboni, which means teacher. And that is a lesson for all of us, that there's still something to learn about this old story. I mean, many will look at a video like this or say, oh, it's Easter. I know what this is about. Maybe the teacher wants to teach you something different this year. Maybe the teacher wants to include those that you don't think deserve a right to be at the table. Maybe the teacher wants to teach you in this war-torn world with Russia and Ukraine and the Middle East, with Palestine and Israel. But in the politics of Biden and Trump, we still have much to learn. And God is calling you. Yes, you. Even you. Because God's called me. Yes, me, even me. I want to encourage you today, like never before, to know that you can't hide from the very one that made you. You can't run from the love of one that knows no bounds when it comes to finding you. And today, I hope you will join us at 10.55 a.m., where the teacher will make this word, this worship, even more relevant than it's ever been. Because even though it's an old story, it's refreshed because the teacher shows us new findings in it each and every year. I encourage you to come to the House of the Lord today to let this devotional be a sign that God means even you. So come to worship today. We'll see you at 10.55 a.m. And I believe, like never before, that we're going to see all people feel safe, feel loved, feel seen, be included. Even me, and even me. I'll see you soon. Peace.